Now, buddy, this airplane design is genuinely illegal, and today we're gonna find out why. Yes, everybody, today we're gonna talk about single-engine jet airliners and why they don't exist. I mean, we all know the development over the past, like, 60 years in jet airliners. We jumped from four-engine airplanes to two-engine airplanes because we figured they're, of course, more efficient. You'd sooner have two big engines instead of four small engines, kind of the whole failure of the A340 really, mainly because jet engines get more efficient the bigger they get. So it makes sense to ask the question, why don't we move on from this, move from two engine airliners to one engine airliners. And yet there's only one single jet engine airplane that I've ever been on, the Cirrus Vision Jet. Now this one is a very recent airplane and it's very light jet, it has a very light engine that doesn't provide a lot of power, it's not a very powerful airplane. Yeah, something you can say about the SF-50 is that it takes a long runway. This plane is not powerful at all. But I've decided to do some modifications today to the Boeing 737. And that is replace the CFM-56 engines with a CF-6 engine that you can find on the Boeing 767. Now, this is not a very recent engine. If we're talking about making this a very economic project, this probably isn't very much. But the CF-6 provides pretty much double the power of the CFM-56 engine that was originally built on the 737. So now we have enough thrust on the airplane on a single engine and we're going to use substantially less fuel that is a fact we've built a very economical version of the boeing 737 now i have drawn some literal inspiration from the cirrus jet in terms of the tail design yes the big question of a single engine jet airliner is really the placement of that one engine it has to be somewhat on top in order for uh, the fuselage space not to be restricted you know the cabin so uh, this kind of looks like a big a vision jet because it is this is generally just a tail of a vision jet and as you can see we have a v tail design which uh, in aviation is a bit frowned upon sometimes by the way the animations are a bit broken uh that's great v tail design airplanes are known for flying a little bit less stable i wonder how that's going to turn out today but something we do have is a good amount of clearance for that exhaust we could have tried to put an md11 type engine set up on this airplane, but I want the full free exhaust to get the most power out of this. Now here we already get to a few problems that this airplane would face if we ever were to make it reality. I think uh, maintaining these engines would be a pain in the ass. You'd have to have someone walking up um, with a ladder or something that looks, nah, okay. But on the other hand, well, it would be easy to maintain because you only have one engine to maintain. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of things that go hand in hand. I mean, talking about economic efficiency, by the way, I just realized we have less drag here because these wings are free here now. So this airplane should fly great. I just hope the center of gravity is proper. This is quite a heavy engine and this might just end up in a tail strike. Let's go take off. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. There. So this is the original cockpit from the 737. Obviously, one engine is active and you can see that. Let's go full power. We should be able to handle this. Now, I hope this airplane flies. I haven't actually done a test flight here. Uh, good, but we are accelerating. Airspeed is alive. I know. Uh, come on. Full power. Okay. So, we face the usual Cirrus jet problems here. Now, obviously, I think this engine might not be able to suck in as much air as possible compared to under the wing. We have... It kind of sits in the shadow here of our fuselage, especially in high angle of attack flight. We are not going to be able to take off here out of Sedona Airport, are we? We're going to just overrun. Okay. Let's try a bigger airport then. Now, by the way, I'm sorry. I've just realized here that I have not put in enough power. Obviously, the CF-6 engine has 50,000 pounds of thrust. Let's try that again. All right. So, come on. Let's take off again using our single engine airplane. I want to see it take off. Now, one problem I have here is I haven't set up the rudder properly. That's not really a design problem, it's just a me problem here. I just hope these elevators right here are able to put these, you know, to actually be able to control this plane properly. Come on, you should be able to do this now. I think in the design uh, revision, we should resize that V-tail, make it bigger. This is not big enough. I mean, it looks too small already. So this is why probably the airplane won't take off properly a lot. Let's try to redo this again now. Let's pretend uh, we didn't crash Sedona and just take off right there. This is now possible. 
The tail is a bit longer now. Okay, that is a problem. Okay. Anyway, come on, take off. You are plenty fast. G I just want you to at least theoretically fly, you idiot. All right, this airplane refuses to leave the ground now. Aha, now it works. Okay, here we go. We are flying. We are flying. This airplane flies a lot worse now. Okay, but here we go. We are flying. So theoretically, of course, a single engine airplane is possible. And something we very much notice is how much more economic this airplane is. We're using 17... Something of fuel per hour, that's a fuel flow, while climbing, that's kind of the max. Whereas the normal 737 uses at least nine whatever fuel per hour on full power. So there's quite a bit of a difference here. Although take this with a grain of salt. But all right, let's come in for a landing here. By the way, I need to improve on that design here. Oh God, we're passing through clouds and we're losing quite a lot of altitude here. All right, all is fine. Let's go ahead and get that landing gear down now. This should be good. There's a lot of ships here. Anyway, why are we so high spawned in? Anyway, this is okay because this airplane likes to lose speed. Uh, all right, come on. Let's see how well we can land this plane. Let's go and make a long landing just to see. You know, how does it perform at different speeds here? We're at 140 knots. It actually flies okay. Totally lands fine. Now let's touch down. That was decent. Let's go ahead and put the reverse thrust on, which of course also works here in the CF6 engine. Shut up. Look at that. Yes. Reverse thrust is equally as powerful, so this airplane stops nicely. Not bad whatsoever. I'm liking this. But you know who's not liking it? The FAA. Because for Southwest, it would be genuinely illegal to operate this plane. You know the part one, two, one of the air carriers and operators for compensation or higher certifications and operations code. There's article 121.159, which prohibits single engine airplanes. No certificate holder may operate a single engine airplane under this part. And it makes sense. Obviously, this is because of safety. I myself like being in airplanes that have more than one engine. Bad. Genuinely just because if one engine fails, the other one can easily fly. Now we have more reliable engines than we ever had. Engine failures don't really happen anymore. Okay, never mind, they do, but engines have become so reliable that we trust them to fly across the oceans, even if you have a dual engine airplane. But I reckon it would be quite uncomfortable to have a bird strike in this plane right here, which by the way now seems to fly oh, not okay. Come on, just take off. All right, that was a very successful takeoff. Normal climb rate, nothing to worry about, but suddenly, <gasps> oh no, a bird strike. And we're dead. <laughs> all right, we've lost all of our engines, which is one. So uh, we are doomed. We're going to crash now. We're going to die now. So even though this plane would fly and it would work, even though you'd have to put a lot of noise insulation into the cabin, by the way, I just forgot about that. It's going to be very loud. It is the lack of redundancy. That means that at least for a really long time, we will not have a single jet engine. Probably never. Because there is always going to be a chance that an engine fails. And you know the rule of aviation. If something can happen, it will happen. And unlike a Cessna 152 that loses its engine, this airplane will not be able to land somewhere on a beach. So, everybody, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New The York. You've got beautiful names.